Hi everyone, this is Miss Chrisman and this is your word study video for Monday, May 4th. Today in our video, we're going to keep on learning college words and we're going to learn how to clap out the syllables to sound out the word and then um, we're going to learn two new words and you're going to get to use those in sentences. But first, it's time for shout outs. I have a whole bunch of good shout outs from Spirit Week, so let me tell you about two of them today. My first shout out is for Peyton in Johnson and Wales because I love how she's not just sitting there watching me in the video, but she's responding to the video and talking along with me. When you do that, when you don't just listen, but you talk and listen, it makes your brain grow so much. Check it out. Let's remind ourselves what the vowels are. They're A, A, E, I, O, and U. My second shout out is for Davida in Holy Cross. She used a really good strategy to make sure that she got the number of syllables correct when she was clapping them out. I want you to notice how she's gonna clap out the syllables, but then she's also gonna use her fingers to help her know how many syllables there are. That's an awesome strategy, and if it's helpful for you, you should do the same thing. Check out Davida. Rosling down. Roslindale, three. Now let's do it together. Roslindale, Roslindale, three. Okay, let's get started. First, let's review the two words that we learned um, on Friday before that we learned two new words. So you learned a word that means when something is like so funny, it's like, ha <laughs> what word was that? Yeah, we learned the word hilarious. Ha ha ha, hilarious. We also learned a word that means if you have a lot of energy or somebody has a lot of energy, then they are very energetic. Everybody say energetic. So the two words we know so far are ha 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 and energetic. We're going to add on to energetic today uh, and then I'm going to teach you a brand new word that I really love. First word we're going to learn today, um, actually let me tell you first just to remind you, I'm going to say the word and I'm not going to tell you what it means first. First we're just going to work on clapping the syllables and sounding it out. Then we're going to talk about what it means and use it in a sentence. So the first word, say it after me, is the word enthusiastic. Let's say it one more time because this is a long one. Enthusiastic. Now let's clap it out. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Five syllables. Let's get ready to sound it out. I'm going to use my board and marker. Go ahead. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Okay, remember, if you still need a little bit more time to sound that out, um, then you can pause this video and keep on practicing. But let's check your work. Remember, I'm going to show you at the top um, the correct way to spell it, like you would see it in a book. But then I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different ways that you could have sounded it out. And you, if you have a different way, those are great too. Okay, let me tell you what this word enthusiastic means. So, 
some examples. A cheerleader is a really enthusiastic person. They're cheering really enthusiastically because they want their team to win. When you're enthusiastic about something, it means you're like really excited about it and you're like spreading your love and cheer and joy to it. So an energetic person is somebody who's really enthusiastic. A cheerleader is somebody who's really enthusiastic. You can say things really enthusiastically so when the pigeon says, let me drive the bus, the pigeon's being really enthusiastic. Before you use the word enthusiastic in a sentence on your paper, I want to show you a video of kids who are in second grade now from when they were in kindergarten and they learned the word enthusiastic. So check it out. This is Jasmine Chandler and Devin Duncan. Enthusiastic. Devin is so enthusiastic because he gets so excited when we say something that he likes. Like when we say Dave and Busters or Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts! Dunkin' Donuts! <laughs> <laughs> donuts. Enthusiastic. enthusiastic! Enthusiastic! Everybody say enthusiastic! Enthusiastic! Okay, now just like Jasmine's awesome sentence, I want you to use the word enthusiastic in a sentence now. Go ahead. Remember, if you feel like you need more time, you can always pause this video. I wrote, the pigeon said, let me drive the bus, really enthusiastically. If you want to share your sentence that you wrote, you can comment down below, or you can send me a picture and I can share it with everybody um, in the next videos. Okay, the next word we're going to learn today is the word flexible. Say it after me flexible. Now let's clap it out. Flexible. Flexible. Three. Sound it out on your board. Don't forget to use those lines to help you. Flexible. Okay, remember, if you feel like you need extra time, um, you can pause the video, but let's check your work. Okay, I'm going to teach you what the word flexible means now. Um, and it's a kind of a cool word because there's two different ways that you can use this word. They're not really the same at all. So one way to use the word flexible um, is like to talk about somebody who's really bendy, who can like do splits and um, flips and things like that. So a gymnast is somebody who's really flexible. Simone Biles is really flexible. She can bend in lots of different ways. So that's one way to use the word flexible. Another way to use the word flexible is like what we're doing right now because we're being flexible in the way that we're learning. If you're somebody who's flexible, um, it means that if you thought you were gonna get to do one thing, but then you have to do something else, you're okay with that. You're able to say, okay, I wanted to do this, 
but I'll be flexible and do this instead. I wanted to be able to learn at school, but I'll be flexible and learn on YouTube instead. If somebody is not flexible, then there'll, there'll be somebody who says, no, I said I wanted this and I want it that way and we can't do it any other way except my way. That's not flexible. I want you to think right now about a time that you were flexible and you said, okay, well, I wanted this, but I'll have that instead. Write about it on your board right now. I was flexible when... I wrote, I was flexible when I wanted to eat sushi, but Jake wanted to eat pizza, so I ate pizza instead. Flexible. I wanted one thing, but I said, okay, that's fine. I'll have this instead. Let's review the two words that we learned today. First, we learned the word enthusiastic. Everybody say it. Enthusiastic. Then we learned the word flexible. Everybody say it. Flexible. We also know the word ha ha ha. Hilarious. And energetic. Now you guys know four college words. I can't wait to teach you two more tomorrow. Let me tell you about what your seesaw work is this week so that you can show your teachers how much you're learning about syllables. I'll see you tomorrow. For your seesaw assignment this week, you're gonna be working on syllables. So just like all the other weeks, you're gonna choose which list you want, either one star, two stars, or three stars. Um, I've been really impressed by people who are doing more than one list. So if you want to be really impressive, you can do that. Um, on the first list, you'll see that there's pictures that go with each word so that you can make sure that you um, know what the words are. So this first one is garbage. So you're going to clap out garbage. Ew. Then you're going to use the drawing tool to write the number of syllables. Then on the next list, you're going to read those words hungry and then clap them out hungry two and you're going to use the drawing tool to write the number of syllables have fun